Hey my friends, welcome to the Vitruvian Life. Today is Friday, October 4th. Uh, oh boy, I'm tired. Oh, I'm glad it's weekend. Uh, I have... Uh, today was a little bit more relaxed than other days. I even got to stop an hour, a half hour early. But then I got home and I think exhaustion kicked in. I think my body and my mind realized it's weekend and it could just... So I've been sitting, lying on the couch and I think I fell asleep for a while. Uh, anyway, I got a little bit of energy now <laughs> to make this video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about... I want to talk about uh, customer service of Stonemaier games. So, Stonemaier games... There's a lot of talking about Stonemaier games lately because of their new hype game Tapestry and they even, it, it's been so hyped but it lost its number one spot on Board Game Geek hotness list for another Stonemaier thing because the expansion for Wingspan has been announced, uh, European birds are coming our way and that's now the hotness number one. So number one Wingspan expansion and number two Tapestry, so Stonemaier is doing well. Anyway. So I did an unboxing of this game, but what I didn't notice while unboxing is that my box, um, my box, let's see, I'm not sure if you will be able to see it, it was damaged, it was torn here, and also, but that's even harder to see, my board has this yeah, you don't see it. I don't think you will see it on screen, but where the board folds uh, here somewhere on the other side, it has this bulb. So the, the layer is not really uh, attached good enough to the cardboard or to the board. So uh, I decided, especially for the box, I decided to uh, fill in the form on their website their, for their customer service. And uh, wow, are they quick to answer? So I immediately got, I guess, an automatic response that my uh, my question was <laughs> box fart. My question was uh, had reached them, and then um, someone wrote me an email saying that. It was forwarded to Jamie Stegmaier himself, who is the president of Stegmaier, uh, Stonemaier Games, who is a designer of uh, Tapestry. And then I got a message from uh, Jamie himself telling me, okay, uh, we're going to send you a new game. So a complete new copy. And when it arrives, so keep playing, keep using your copy that you have now. When the new one arrives, send it to this address. It was an address in France. And, well, sent me the invoice or the proof of how much it costs to send it to uh, that address and we will reimburse you. So, um, and then I got confirmation that that was going to be sent. Then I got confirmation that it had been sent. And then, of course, the uh, courier service took over and they also uh, said it's on their way and all that stuff. But so today, very quickly, I think I think it's not even a week later, uh, I got myself a new copy. Uh, so, sadly enough, I don't have two copies now. Uh, for now, well, I do have now, at this moment. <laughs> Look at this. Um, but I have to send the old one back. So now I have an option. I can choose either just to switch boxes and to keep all these things punched. Maybe they can, and, and they'll probably use this one, I guess, for spare parts. I assume they will uh, for other problems that might have occur occurred. But the way this happened, the way they handled this with the communication, uh, I sent them a picture. As, I don't, it did, I didn't even send them a picture. I took a picture when I saw I had this tear in my box. I send them. I, I took a picture. I thought, yeah, then I can send the picture as proof. I didn't even have to do that. So they took my word for it. 
Okay, they will see it, of course, when the game arrives at their place, but I, get, I could stir it myself as proof. But anyway, it's great, it's awesome how they handled this situation, especially the communication, because that's the biggest problem most of the times, is communication and, 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 and knowing what's going to happen, when it will happen, what the status is. And this is so personal, they wrote me several emails. That they didn't have to do that, but I s appreciated it so much, so much. So, uh, big thumbs up for the customer service of Stonemaier Games. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Jamie, and whoever else is involved with this. Um, wow. I'm impressed, and uh, kudos to you. Uh, that's great. Uh, I got another package today, uh, just very short. I, I, I'm probably going to cover this in the future because, well, that's why they sent it to me so I could cover it. Um, this is uh, a book called the Necro <laughs> called the Necromonican Game Book. Uh, I guess this has been on Kickstarter some time uh, a while ago. Uh, this is the first one that they did, and it's. Um, an adventure storybook. So you're going to, um, I guess, make a character and then you will do stuff and you will, like this, you will make a diary like this and you're going to go on an adventure and depending on what happens, you will go to different parts of the story. They are numbered. So it's like a choose your own adventure thing, but you have a character and I know these things exist already. Now this one is called Dagon and it's in the HP Lovecraft uh, universe which is pretty cool so and they also sent me uh, a, a map of the place where it's happening some kind of track I still need to look at this because it just arrived a pencil and a die pretty cool a die with a little Cthulhu creature on it so that's pretty neat and why they send it to me is that they're going to do a new Kickstarter soon uh, for a new book of these. Um, so I'm going to try this out, of course. I'm really looking forward to try this one out and I'll probably do something. Uh, I will talk about this more in the future. And uh, yeah, there is going to be a new Kickstarter and I will, I will mention that when it's getting closer to that uh, time that it will be on Kickstarter. So that's cool, uh, package on the way. The mystery package that is stuck in customs, I think I figured out where, where it come from, uh, comes from. I think I know the content because um, I got an invoice now. Um, they said it might not be the correct kind of invoice for customs. Let's hope it is. I sent it to the uh, customs, I uh, didn't get a response yet. Status is still stuck in customs at this moment, but they probably work very slow there, probably. So I cannot imagine it already being here uh, or it being here quickly. I ordered also a new game uh, on Amazon, which I hope to get. I hoped to that it would be here today or tomorrow, but I just got a confirmation that it has been sent and it will probably arrive on Tuesday. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one, always more fun, of course, to have surprises. But I think I will do an unboxing for it. There's not that much information about it yet. It just released, so uh, that's probably something for Tuesday, I hope. Uh, I'm looking, I'm still doing my uh, Rubik's Cube thing. Where is my Rubik's Cube? It's somewhere there in the picture. Um, still not completely done. I have. I still got five days, I think, to finish this challenge. Uh, I there is just a part where I'm start to get stuck. My my brain is tired of work, so but I need to get through that. It's a challenge, so I have to finish it. Anyway, that's it. Tomorrow game day for me. I'm going to play more Eldritch Horror. A friend of mine is coming again to try again to defeat the big bad ancient one. Probably not going to happen. In the evening, I have a birthday party. Uh, which I don't really want to go to, but I have to. And Sunday I'm going to a small convention, well, smallish convention here in Belgium, uh, which is exciting, also, of course. I'm not going to de there as Portal Games, uh, as a Portal Game demo 
giver, <laughs> but I'm going to there as a visitor. So that's always uh, different if you're not used to that. Anyway, that will be my weekend. I will talk about it, of course, uh, later in another episode. Thank you for watching this one. Have a great, awesome weekend, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.